everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of Fucking Easy uh, Food Prep. We've remembered to wear our aprons again, and we were actually getting some win at life Fucking Easy Food Prep aprons coming. The samples should be coming this week. Which will, will they be, say fuck on it? They will say fuck, yeah, yeah. but with the little asterisks. Oh. You know, because, well, there'll be two versions, like a more, <laughs> okay. less, you know, like PG version. Yeah. Because some people don't like swearing. You know, like I got this email actually, I showed oh, you, hey, yes. this lady replied to an email and said, What'd she say? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna kill, kill you, you if you give me this email. email with all the swearing in it again. And I was like, I was gonna reply back and say, well, I think you need some more sugar, but I thought better not. <laughs> you know, like she might find my house and fucking kill me. So I just deleted her email and deleted it from the database. Who but, says uh, that though? I'm gonna kill oh, you. Oh, I know. I'm like, it was pretty funny though. I was like, that's the best email I've ever got. I think it's so funny. Did you I'm, save it? Nah, I just I posted in the Facebook page, remember, and I said, yeah. check this out, check yeah, out this yeah. funny um, email. But you know, I think this if. You just got to be yourself and yeah. if people don't like me, they won't like me and they won't be a good fit for the program. So it's a really good filter, mm -hmm. I think, because yeah. the women are like us, like they're open and not everyone yeah. swears, but they don't judge us for swearing. Yeah. Um, like beautiful Noah, who's Muslim, who doesn't swear herself, but she still loves us anyway, doesn't she? But how, do, how does you swearing affect anybody else? Yeah, I know. I don't know. Like, yeah. And it's not as though we're like, it's like a sailor. It's not as though we're saying the F-bomb every second word. No. It's just when we need to, you know, talk about fucking easy food prep. Or yeah. <laughs> Who fucking cares anyway? Let's cook. Yeah. <laughs> so today we're actually doing a remake of the pate. Now the reason that we're doing this is because I was having a conversation with Emma, Emma the nutrition coach, and we were talking about overcooking the liver and how it oxidizes the iron and you know it break like damages the um, the vitamin a so she said the best thing to do is to just cook it so quickly so it's still pink in the middle um, and then you want to blend it up so you can still do it in the slow cook recipe but you don't want to do it for a long time and probably ideally this is a better way and she said make less like make enough to freeze say four weeks worth um Not six so months yeah exactly yeah <laughs> so because and you can and she said also you can put like a layer of clarified butter on the top or some gelatin which will also stop it from like the oxygen getting to it and oxidizing it further um so yeah we're just going to do a remake and i'll show you how quick and easy it is of the pate so i'm just going to make four weeks for craig and i so this is i think about 1.2 kilos of liver so we have about 150 grams each per week so and look you don't have to throw these exact um, portions in but this is just easy so I'm going to use 250 grams of butter and you can use more or less butter and you can even use cream too. Ooh. Mel doesn't do the pate, she just eats the liver hay. I, just, I eat it raw, I So don't just cook it. melt that in the pan um, and where's the tea towel here? That's a lot of butter. Yeah it's a lot isn't it? 200, it's nice though with the butter like it makes it really really yummy and I've got a couple of onions that I've diced up here, garlic. Now, if you, some people are funny with onions and garlic. It gives them like really bad gas or digestive issues. Mm. So if you want to, you could just leave it out and just do the butter, salt, allspice. And then I like a bit of brandy in there too. Um, See, don't drink that, Mel. A couple of years ago, this wouldn't have been able to sit there because I would have drunk it already. <laughs> and actually, speaking of drinking, there's this really good book that I've been reading that a client, a couple of clients in our program recommended to us called The Naked Mind. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's, it's just about this lady, and I'm probably about halfway through, and she talks about how, you know, she just used to drink to basically cope with stress and run away from her problems. And yeah. I used to do that a lot too. And even though I don't have a drinking problem now, it's just reading and I was like wow this is amazing and I think anyone who really relies on alcohol to de-stress to numb their problems and their pain it's a really good read um, and I'm, I'm really enjoying it like I'm reading it e uh, every night basically mm. before I go to bed as much as I can before I body pass out but yeah pain I just is still gonna be there totally when you're so rough yeah. And when you wake up the next day, so it's really only masking it. And it makes it worse, don't you think? Oh, yeah, because yeah. you feel like shit. Yeah, and it makes you depressed. And she yeah. goes into a lot of detail about the effect that alcohol has on your body. Um, and it increases the risk of cancer. And just, you know, we also find with women with hormonal issues, it just exacerbates that because it affects your liver's ability to detoxify estrogen. And estrogen mm. is, you know, what causes all these hormonal issues. So, you know, it's... It took me a long time to not want to drink anymore. Like, I think I used it as a bit of an escape. 
um, I don't know, like, it, mm. do you think? Oh, it, yeah, yeah, definitely. But, well, I know that, you know, you'd wake up the next day, you'd feel like shit, the problem was still there. So my way of dealing with that was just drink again. Mm. And it just or take became, drugs. Yeah. Yeah. Take, have some drugs for breakfast and then start drinking at lunchtime because it's still, it's still there. You have to deal with the issue, not mask it with substance. Oh, it's... Yeah, it's just such a good book. Like, I, I can't... Who recommended it? I think it was... Um, um, That's probably why I'm so estrogen dominant right yeah. now. From, <laughs> from the years, years of... of yeah. Estrogen dominant. Estrogen dominance. Maddie says, it's not how you <laughs> say it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, Maddie. I'll say it how I want. So I'm just going <laughs> to add some... So you can just... I'm just going to add a tablespoon of garlic. You can obviously have, have however much or how much no you problem. don't want to have. So... Um, now we're just going to basically um, simmer, like gently cook these onions off probably for about maybe 20 minutes or until they're like quite um, soft and caramelised. So we'll do that and then we'll come back so that you don't have to stand here and listen to us crap on for 20 minutes. Although I'm sure you would. I'm sure B would. Oh, and we could crap on, on for 20, 20 minutes. minutes. Just talk about <laughs> shit. So um, we'll see you in 20 minutes once these have cooked down. All right, we're back. And you can, <laughs> you can see that it's all, like the onions are nice and soft mm. and they're starting to go brown. So what we're gonna do now is, I'm just gonna add in some brandy now. Like, oh, again, you don't have to, just a bit of a good splash of brandy. You, you don't have to add this. I just think, oh. it, I just think it adds a no, nice flavor. Um, and the alcohol will cook off anyway. And then we're gonna add some allspice in there. So again, you can just sort of, what's this? Excuse me, a quarter of a teaspoon. So that's one, two. It's oh god, that booze! You can smell it. It's cooking <laughs> off, fucking hell. You so that's smell well, that. that's one teaspoon. Maybe we'll put in because the allspice. We'll put a teaspoon and a half of the allspice because right. it really makes the, the pate, I think. And then shit loads of salt. That's what our breakfast used to smell like all the time. Oh, <laughs> I know. So like fucking. So I'm just going to put a heap of salt in there because I really like salt. Mm, salt is it's got to be salty, you know. Um, so now we're just going to turn it up and then we're just going to cook the liver really quickly and cook it off so it's still pink in the middle. And then we're just going to get the stick blender and just blend it all together. All right, so remember we want it to be pink in the middle. I'll get the bowl out and the, blend and the stick blender out. Yeah, you're hardcore, Mel. You're hardcore, mate. You're hardcore. Okay, so I'll just get a bowl to blend. Oh, I don't know why it's in there. Got a little ceramic bowl here. So yeah, you just we just want to just brown it off, and then we'll get the stick. Yeah. yeah, you can either put it in a food processor, but we don't have a food processor, so I just. Um, I just do it in this. Don't do it in your nice non-stick pan because um, you'll scrape the side and that's what I did the other day. <laughs> Fuck, my new ceramic, not non-stick, sorry, the ceramic pans, those expensive ones I bought. Yeah. I cooked it in there and then I got this and I, oh, and then I like went like that and then I scraped all the sides. I was like, Fuck. You've done that a couple of what times. What an idiot, hey. So stupid. Um, yeah, this is just such a super easy recipe. And I have this um, on, and you can, have, Craig doesn't eat sourdough because he just doesn't, it just doesn't digest well for him. So he will have his portion, he just mixes it in with his mints. Or you could try it on some cruskets, hey, if you had problems mm, with the, um, yeah. which would be nice. Um, but I have it on a piece of sourdough every morning, toasted with coffee, milk and new so gel and sugar. you put marmalade on there Oh, I put the well? marmalade on there too, yeah, 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 which is so good. Yeah, so this is, like, you get a week's worth of vitamin A. Um, in just 100 grams of liver, which is one of the building blocks for your protective steroid hormone. So your body makes pregnenolone, which is the precursor to progesterone. So progesterone opposes estrogen. So that's the one that we want less of, and that's what so many women um, are deficient in, progesterone, because they just become estrogen dominant from the pill, drinking, diet, lifestyle choices. Um, so yeah, we really, 
we recommend this that every woman eats their liver every single week because it's just it's cheap too hey it's incredible for your skin and your hair and no it's your like I mean, my skin's just amazing now same as yours the other thing too is you don't have to be grass-fed because it doesn't store toxins and it's very lean um, but you just want it to be as fresh as possible um, obviously you're never probably going to get it killed straight from the cow we buy ours it's already been frozen but just try and get it as fresh as as possible and if you don't like it, you can just, I guess, cut it into little small bite-sized pieces and freeze it and take it like a tablet. Mm. How's that going, do you think? I'll take 100 grams over a week. Yeah, just take, like yeah. 20 grams a day. day. Over a few tablets. Yeah, hey, you yeah. would hardly have to take fucking any. Yeah. Do you think that's cooked enough? I reckon. Yeah? Yeah. Just just it's enough. still pink in the middle. Yeah, it's still quite pink in the middle. We think maybe a little bit more, some of them. Yeah, just want to cook it quickly. There's so much butter. You know what would be nice in here as well, cream. Cream would be good. I'm just gonna set this up over here. The air fryer's over here. I don't have a PowerPoint over there, so I can't. Um, it smells pretty good. Oh. Spices and the onions. Doesn't smell like liver at all. No, nah, it's good. Now, do you think, think that's a enough? Of, a lot of people have an issue eating the liver yeah. because the smell. Do you think that's enough, Mel? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we'll turn that off, and then we're gonna put it in here, and then we're gonna just blend it up. You're right. Oh, look at all that amazing butter. We could actually, if we had a PowerPoint that was um, here on the side. Oh, we'll just yeah. get a sparky in and yeah, we'll don't. put in the, I'm sure I know a sparky. I'm sure you do too. All right, so I'm just going to blend this. So just, Mel will wash up the, oh, that smells oh, so yeah. good. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, you could put other herbs in here. I've also, oh. I've also, um, so you can hear me blending it away. I've also um, put in other herbs, like thyme is really nice. Um, and then if you don't want it quite as thick, you can add in a bit more, a little bit of milk, but I think it's pretty good. Like the butter makes it quite nice. Look. It's just, <laughs> it's just flooding over my face. So you just want to like really blend it really well. Now it should still be like what, we, what you'll find with it is that when you put it in the fridge, it'll, and you scrape it off, it'll still be nice and pink in the middle. Like it doesn't look that pink, pink now, but, and you might even be able to cook it a little bit less than that but you don't want it to go like gray. That's when you know that it's um, oxidized. This is a nice brown. I'll show you in a second. I'm just gonna bring this over and show you. <laughs> now that, and you can blend it even a bit more and I'm just gonna divide that into um, four serves and I'll keep one in the fridge. It will eat that mm. over a week. And it seems to last about a week in the fridge, which is awesome, over six days. And then you can freeze the rest. And like I said, you can put the butter, the clarified butter, like melt some and just drizzle it over the top so it makes a fine layer. Or you can use um, non hydrolyzed gelatin. So the gelatin in the uh, red tin from Great Lakes and it'll go like put a little layer over the top too. So yeah, that's the, uh, the updated pate recipe. As you can see, it's pretty fucking easy, hey? Because that's why we're called fucking easy, easy food prep. prep. Cookbook's coming out soon. But uh, <laughs> that's it, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.